Hello guys, I'm Tilly Kuenipa and I am a food blogger at Food Universe and I would love you to log on to my channel right here on YouTube at Food Universe. Food Universe is F-O-O-D-U-N-I-V-E-R-Z, Food Universe. Or you can check out my pages on all social media platforms at Food Universe, F-O-O-D-U-N-I-V-E-R-Z. Or you can log on to my blog at www.fooduniverse.blogspot.com, guys. I'll be giving you all the food updates, so don't miss out. Hello guys, so welcome back to the entertainment bars right here on Odate JH TV. As you already know on this channel, we give the latest entertainment, gossip, and bars in the Ghanaian showbiz industry. So if you are new here, kindly subscribe to this channel, click on the bell icon so that anytime you drop a new content, you will be the first to be notified. Also don't forget to also drop your comment in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends. afraid of it's me being broke the reason is because i have a lifestyle now a particular lifestyle that um i don't want that to change should i improve i maintain it you know i've seen um our some legends legends uh, what do you call that um, people in the industry that started years back sometimes i see them and uh, they, they do a post about them, either they are, they are sick, they need to do surgery, and uh, they need a certain amount, just uh, asking for funds to go do this surgery. To be honest with you, Ubi, it is, I'm scared of that, those kind of situation. I'll give you a typical example. I don't know if it's almost uh, seven, eight, nine years ago, OJB. Why? We all know the situation of OJB and uh, what a fantastic producer. What a fantastic musician. The guy has done so many hits for some people, not including himself. And uh, but it got to a point, this illness came. I remember we were, as people were touring uh, the state. It was Foster Zeno. I don't know if you know Foster Zeno. I know Foster Zeno, yeah. First, Zeno was the one that called and said, listen, Peter, you guys need to come through for OJB. Even if he hasn't produced anything for you guys, you know, I mean, I barely know him that much. But I would, I would like to, uh, at the middle of the tour, we had two weeks break. And I was the one that spoke to my brothers. I said, listen, guys, let's go, let's go and do something for this guy. So, okay, cool. We should just say no. And we should go there. Go in there with correct people. Then my brothers asked, oh, how much is uh, the, the, the remaining amount? And I said, okay, listen, I heard it's about seven million. So are we going to raise it? I said, yeah, we can. But there's a way, it's not about the surgery. After the surgery, he needs maintenance. He needs people to, you know. I said, okay, cool. We, we flew all the way. We left Atlanta and came back to Nigeria. That very day, we arrived about... Um, at about 4.30. From there, we drove all the way. Luckily, of course, the, the, the airport that, uh, is on the mainland. We drove all the way to Foster Zeno's office. 
he drove us to OJB. He didn't even tell OJB we were coming until we showed up. I could see what the guy was going through, and uh, there and there we asked how much. He said that he remained about maybe five or something. I remember very, very we gave a check of five million. I think not that we have too much. We don't have much, you know. And we we did that just to clear our conscience because, of course, it's our colleague. But may so rest in peace. He died right after the end and all that, blah, blah. But um, it's towards that period, I can tell you, there have been multiple times I will see some of our colleagues, so called um, legends, and you know, soliciting for funds and all that. It became worrisome to me. And right from the days of peace, I've always wanted to do things away being a musician. I read business at middle school. During the peace period, remember there was a time when we were, uh, there was supposed to be a peace period cartoon called the Alingos. It was my own personal project. From there, I was, I was building a beverage factory, of course. It was actually out there that I was building a factory, but, but nobody knew what actually happened. Uh, on the debate of uh, land issue, land dispute, I lost the case in court and they brought the factory down. Nobody knew about it. The same time, I was still doing down to Peter. Right? Yeah. The same time, I was doing my real estate boy here Abuja, and in Atlanta. All of that tells you, not because of our we we have money, don't get me wrong. But the truth is, how many of us have sustained this industry for 20 years? Stop. So it was, it was becoming worrisome to me. So it, it, look at it in terms of Forbes, Forbes magazine. Maybe for the past 10 years, you hear top richest rappers, right? Yeah. Or top richest musician in America. Who be the top five don't have a song on air for yeah. the past five years? For example, you see that for the past 10 years, that's been Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Puff Daddy, Dr. Dre, Kanye West. Why? When was the last time they released the song? How come they are topping, topping forms? What does that tell you? That if people know them already. I mean, this generation were actually our own kind of generation where we had no social media and all this thing and blah blah blah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So people now, even now, people quantify your followers as you quantify how many followers you have to be as a so, to, to you yeah to use that as how successful you are. You it's are. a pure lie. For example, you're 50 cent. He owns his drink, the vodka, the champagne, real estate that may have seen several times, both in Atlanta. Yeah, energy drink. Energy drink. With that Coca-Cola pot, some percentage of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. He owns a, 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 a team of boxers. I don't know if you know him. You can be a yeah. witness. Okay? Yeah. He, he's into, he owns a production team house. Who does the power, mm. the whole series. Yeah. He, see, he see owns his clothing line, the genie clothing line, and his record leather. That's 50 cents. Um, Puff Daddy, the same thing. The drink, the clothing line, Sean John. For the drink, is Sierra, which he owns, I think, about 15%. Right? Uh, Sean John, he owns, now he owns radio and TV, the vault. Right? Oh. And he still runs Bad Boy. And he's into real estate. Not Jay Z. Kanye West. In fact, the worst part of it is actually Dr. Dre. The last time he released the song was probably like about 20 years ago. But look at what they are doing. Franchise. They have products out there. You understand? So it becoming alarming to me. I just say, you know what? Mm. So as I, I mean, as, as someone who loves doing business, I still do my music, I still do my tours, I still establish myself because there was something they told me some years back. I said, listen, if I love, you've done 
We understood that. People that make you can break you. Time will come, they will lose interest. The new ones yeah. are coming up. Definitely. When the new ones start coming up, you start, you, I mean, you can try and maintain, you know, that. So for me, look, look, I have somebody just come and say, because they are the evil man. They're not just evil man. The people with the signal believe will be the catch. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I started what? advising some of my colleagues. Yeah, I what? started advising some what? of my colleagues some years back. From that time, like, uh, we came to our old house, the square view. I told him the same thing. I said, no matter how you think, it's not, it's not forever. But for me, I want to maintain this lifestyle. You know, when you look at me, I, mean, I, lo I love going for my shows once in a while. How long is the trip? We have to fly to Turkey, Turkey doesn't no 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 no. Get me a PJ and I move. I need to sustain that life, right? I say fly my PJ. I say buy good cars. I say live life, but how do you expect me to sustain it in just music and no? When there are other ones coming up. So we just have to be smart. Uh we just have to tell ourselves the truth. You don't want to find yourself in a situation whereby you just woke up one morning and uh, and you're no more in the limelight and all that. So, I do everything to maintain that lifestyle. Yeah. So, um, so Peace Square became the musical act that opened doors to large performance fees for young African artists. Tell us 100%. how you guys were. Yeah. Tell you guys how. Tell us how you guys were able to command such fees. Because there was a time if you don't have your money full, you understand. I remember the time you guys were collecting two hundred thousand dollars per show. Mm. You know, mm. and it's not like now, right? So tell us how you guys were able to position yourself to demand such fee, because you need to position yourself properly before someone can pay you that amount of money. You know, remember people are paying you for this because they need to see the worth of what the performance is like. And I've been a one person who doesn't joke on my performance. I go to a club show. I go to a big arena, I go to stadium shows, it's still the same energy, the same, you know, that I give, I give my work of paper. I don't say, ah, because this is a, a kind of uh, event or that, I don't want to do too much. I see people do that. I, 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 I'm used to, we're used to this word there. Um, uh, Please, uh, we're doing this show, it's just a little capacity. I just want to do one or two songs. I'm like, you're not serious. You, you don't pay me by the song. As long as I take my time, I put up my bag and I find myself in your country, you have to pay me. I don't want to... I mean, even though, uh, if you remember, like, 11, 12, 13 years ago, we started to bring us to Ryan, to, to Nigeria. Mm. I remember we saw the contract and Boss Ryan was saying from... Performing five songs upward is so amount. I'm like, really? Ah, let's go get time on. I would have fly all the way. I mean, I'm always the kind of person that goes there and I want to give the fans 100% performance. But why would I, you know? So, so, so for me, it's not, uh, uh, it's not for, it's not for that. But for me, how we were able to command those things was we, we had a strategy and said, listen, we're going to give this book. We started the semi live live band. People do live band, but nobody started semi live band. Call it semi live band. Whereby the mix you have as your song, yeah, the mix you had as your song is different from the one you perform on stage. Like a loop? Right? Yes. I started that stuff. I was one of the initiated with Papi J because someone introduced me. One who said, I ah, should have a live band. But the problem is that anytime I see a Nigerian performing live band, I feel. The energy, the struggle, trying to you know play it exactly the way it sounds on the on the EP or the album itself. So yeah. I remember Papi J came to the house. Someone introduced me, uh, Melvin, my friend, introduced me to Papi J, and uh, so I, I I was coming back from the state, and I went to this store called the Guitar Center in Atlanta. Yeah. So one, music was playing. So the drummer was playing a little drum on it. I'm like, what? This is nice, even like this on stage. So then and there, I spoke to my brothers. Then I bought, um, I bought the electric drum. He came back with it. Papi J hooked it up. Shout out to Papi J by the way. He hooked it up. 
Asre plane to this person. He started, you know, was playing it. Mm. And I called my brother, Samika, he said, hey, it sounds okay, but the drum is overshadowed. I said, no problem. I brought in uh, a bassist. So we went, there was an event in April one brought for us. And we went there to perform. Luckily enough, Akon was performing the same event. Man, I was so disappointed that night because we actually performed after Akon. So we are backstage. When every other artist performed, we were already calculated, okay, it's how the output everywhere is. When Akon entered the stage, bro, it was as if our songs were played inside a box. You know? Yeah. So when we came in, so of course, DJ ben, Benny is uh, Akon's DJ, is my friend. So luckily, you know, I told him I'm coming, I'm coming to sing. So we went to perform. You know, I mean, people were jubilating, enjoying our performance. But me, the sound I heard, the output that Acom used yeah. had was totally different. So as soon as I finished, I now went to meet the guy. He now told me what and what to get. So I now told my brothers and went there. So we now we took no shows for like a month plus. We set up the band. To house with the band, so we started giving people. Even if you don't pay us money for the live band, what we do is to perform and give our home 100 percent. They'll put it out there on YouTube. Yes. So people, people were, were now seeing a bigger international act, but they don't believe there were any Nigerians who do that. So I think it was that Guinness, Guinness, how many years that they did. It was, uh, what was that Guinness, uh, this thing? Remember that Guinness uh, event that uh, uh, they refused Peace to, uh, to face to perform the, uh, on stage that Peace Pierre came through for him? I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, I can remember Guinness. The, uh, Guinness nine, 1950. Nine, 1950 yeah. something, yeah, I remember. Something. And, and guess what? So we were backstage, every other artist was performing this. Ah, the world is waiting for us. I think Chopin was there. That's what they introduced us. My brother, we just came out with the Danger album, which was about uh, two, two oh, weeks oh, before oh, then. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, 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 we started that so then the drama, oh, oh, oh. then our output, even everybody remember, oh, he can able like, where we want to get this sound from. So that is we, we've done our homework. As soon as the world, because I think about, you said about 50 something countries where we are alive watching 52. As soon as we finished performing, bro, the booking started coming. So people were like, oh my God. Mm. We're, that was why we were mad when they cut us short. They told us we were going to perform for 20 minutes. At about 15 minutes, they were cutting us off. That was why we were mad because the world were actually watching this performance. So then, right after then, the booking started coming. They would mm. tell you, oh, listen, we're, we're, we're supposed to come, we're supposed to invite this international album. We, we prefer you people. You know, that was it, you know. We go to shows, I'm telling you, even at the point we go to show some um, people from the Western world and other Peace Square were the ones closing the shows. Yeah. Because of the job, you know, we've, we've uh, prepared ourselves to, you know, and it was amazing. And that was wow. when we started com uh, commanding those uh, things. So some people would think that, boom, you just woke up one morning and uh, people said, no, so you actually went back, put in work. You didn't take bookings for one month for you to be able to command such fees. All right, so let's talk about Zoom lifestyle. What got you through this brand and its mission and where things are right now? You know, the truth is it's been like, uh, I've been longing to... Sorry, a, a, call, a call came in. Sorry. So, um, it's, um, Zoom is something that I've always like wanted to have been working on for years. Like, when I mean years, 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 years. And um, I, I, I was looking forward to, to, to see how I can set up something and somehow people can benefit, I can impact, you know, do a lot of free stuff for people. And I created it. But like I said, before then, there's been other things that I do. Maybe not just see because they're seeing Zoom, they feel it just, you know. I actually have, a, I would say, merchandise or probably uh, uh, a product out there that I own 50% that 
people don't even know that I'm the one that you know that owns it. You know, mm. so um, uh, me, uh, like I said to people, is a lottery. Just like the way you play betting, and, and uh, or I wish I have a betting very soon. Like I told you the other time. Yeah. Um, uh, it's it's something that you know, like it's very it's, it's as cheap as five hundred, and you can win half a million naira every month. Uh, five. Uh, that's for five uh, individual. But now, because of people who really I need now, you know, I've seen people. Um, who be at the moment? People know they talk of house rent, school fees. People are talking about feeding. So I called up my team. I said, "Listen, we, we, we this money need to reach out to a lot of people. Um, what what we, we should do is instead of giving two point five. Five hundred thousand to five individuals every month. Let's do two two hundred. So we made it four million. So every weekend, every Saturday, uh, five individual goes on win uh, two hundred thousand each. So instead of two point five, so we expanded it to get more people. Yeah, uh, that's a that's a although, although it was it was it was it was it took me years because to get the license was hell, but we thank God. But that's a very lovely platform. Uh, I hope to play. I like the competition you did where you said um, uh, shoplifting. Was it shoplifting? You called it. Okay, it's called it's called Zoom Radar. Zoom Radar. So yeah. Then, no, so so yeah, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom Radar was Zoom Radar was an idea where we wanted. It's, it's called the, the, the product is called um, uh, Zoom Up Your Life, like uh, Zoom Lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. So what we do is uh, two individual wins. Middle, every middle of the week, but we shot the first edition. The root truth that we can't continue because okay. we don't have the shop right to read. Yeah. Right. So what we what we did was, if you two individual that won, if you t- will fly both of you wherever you are, it can be in Kenya, it can be anywhere in Africa, it can be anywhere in the world. We bring, we fly you in, pick you up the security with an SUV, give you the lifestyle. You arrive a day before. Put you in a hotel, do spa, and towards the evening, I come, I surprise the, the, the guests, uh, the winners, and, um, you know, they have dinner with me. The next day, they work up, they get ready, they go to shop right to survey shop right. But they go to shop, survey, they go uh, uh, shop right. And, um, and they have one minute to pick whatever they want. So apparently, there was a guy and a girl, the guy, oh my God. That guy now, the guy has sense. I mean, we we'll, we'll give you like ten minutes to survey the whole shop. Ten minutes, go around, survey what what and what to go and pick. You know, and uh, people say, ah, but there's no phone, there's no laptop, there's no. But we we put them there. They were there. We the zoom, we bought these things and we put them there. You know, and the the guy who won, my brother, he got two tele, two TVs. And uh, one laptop, you got like four microwaves, you got like uh, uh, this is a modern um, table fan, like another four. Uh, uh, when it comes to kitchen appliances, the guy, I don't know, everything he picked was almost like 750,000 naira in one minute. And the good thing is that you don't come alone. Let me tell you, do you come with a friend or a family member, anybody? Fly what the person does for you is to be pushing the, the, the trolley for you. The trolley okay. or the cart for you. There you be. Ah. So it's not like you are driving and you are known. Now you're giving me you next one, I'm coming for it. Don't worry. So I'll let me tell you. so let me tell you, maybe that's the guy. But the girl was thinking she was smart. So we go to the club. Oh, oh, how much the bottle of Dr. Perry? Uh maybe you one uh, one fifty two hundred in the club okay yeah but outside it's about one twenty yeah. right Look yeah in the club is two hundred outside what, what like one fifty this is what the what the girl did huh? so the girl when they give her her countdown first place she went to was Don Perion guess what she did she just did the first slide I think she took like five three fell off the floor <sighs> She went to take another set. Three fell on the floor again. Ah, hey! But guess what? She, when she got TV, 
Uh, she got two phones. Uh, she got two phones. Uh, I think they were techno phone, one techno, one Samsung phone. She got an other stuff. But she tried she, uh, her own stuff. Uh, she got only one TV. But her own stuff were about, not up to the guy, like about six, eight. But she would have gotten more because she broke. By the time we were paying the bill, we were paying almost a million because she broke about six bottles of her. Uh, of dumb period. Right. So, but the good thing is, let, let's just say you, you won and you're from Kenya or Tanzania or Ghana. Guess what will happen? You mustn't fly with those things. What shop price will do, they give you a voucher of the same uh, things you picked. Yeah, they so when you get Ghana, there, Ghana, that's a smart idea. idea. All right. It's like, that's a smart idea. That's a very smart idea. <laughs> So I mean, it's, been, it's, been, it's been, I can't, I can't wait. We're going, like, we're going, we're going on TV. Zoom is actually going on TV, and the Zoom radar is, is going to be amazing because it's a show to look out for. And guess what? See the crowd. So the crowd, while you are parking, the crowd will be, you know, they'll be like, go, go, go. Like, no, it's, it, I, I, I will be. I can't wait for this to hit on. You see, we, we, what you just said to me, I have an idea. I'll call you after. I'll call you after the show. I'll tell you what it is. I just okay. remember something that you didn't know. I just remember you, something that you know. You know, me and you have been longing to do business since. Huh? Don't worry, don't worry. I'm talking I about far back as three and a half years ago. I know, I know. Oh, man, oh, I think it was at uh, Ayo's office. We were talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you. We spoke a lot, though. See, yeah, but, I but, say after this, I'm going to call you. I just, something just hit my head right now. Okay. I I'll call you, I'll call you. <laughs> so let's go to our next question. So let's talk about social media, young artists. You had no Instagram during your emergence and no access to display flashy images. What's your advice on faking it till you make it? Because you know, there are a lot of, you know, when you, when Peace Quest started, there was no Instagram. You know, uh, now uh, there's please, Instagram. I love, I love this story. I love this story. You understand? Fake it till you make it. Well, when we it. started. Yeah. When we started. But before, before I answer your question, let me break it down. How I always tell people, stop wasting your time. Maybe you're trying to troll at me or try to say negative. When I started 22 years ago, there was no Twitter, there was no Instagram, there was no Snapchat. But I'm telling you that if I go and check when, when we released a song like Do Me, which is about how many years ago, or even Say Your Love, or Busy Body, as about almost how many, 19, 20 years ago, I realized that people were actually criticizing this song, but they were hit. Mm. So word. for me, why would I? Word, why word, would I, word. Why would I, I don't know when the last. I know people. So sometimes they'll come out. Ah, people are saying, "I've been them talk." That is not my generation. Leave me alone. It's mm. not, never been my generation. You know, I don't want that to. You know, like you say, fake it or make. Let me be honest with you. When we started up, there was no this thing, and we we. I remember even we ourselves, we were not even buying cars. Let me tell you, we were not. We'll be. I will tell you that your, your, uh, I will say former artist, which is Inanya. Yeah. yeah. I remember when I saw it, Inanya's compound, he did a form selfie like that. I saw a Range Rover, a this, a this. He had like about half to six cars back in his compound. That was when we were busy building Square View. Right? And as of that moment, will be me myself. I don't have my own personal car. We share cars. We had only Homer Jeep, the Homer Jeep that Baxter Matt always throw us. I said the Homer Jeep must have had an ATM machine inside. Uh, we had uh, a, a, an SUV square and a tour bus. Those are the only things we had. You understand what I'm saying? So I never had my. We never had. The only time I had my first official car was when we moved to Squareville. We called that Squareville a security. Like, because remember, we used to have landlord problem everywhere now. It was yeah. in the media now. Yeah. Landlord, this, blah, 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 blah. You know? So, for me, trying to fake it now, hopefully you get back up for them. If you don't get back up, it will hit you soon. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, it's like me, I don't, let's just say I don't own this house now. Now come on and say, ah, let me get up. <laughs> no problem. 
think the money could come forever. By the time when you know the, uh, by the time the mon money stops coming, maybe you probably maybe you're probably renting the house because I'm sure a house like this you want to rent it, you know, it's about fifteen to twenty m a year. Yeah, yeah. So the mm -hmm. house like yours, yeah, very expensive. Cool. Now, if you want to do that and it's not yours and you're claiming and you're claiming it's yours, let me tell you what will happen. But you, pay, you, go, you will continue paying, even if you decide on your own to say, okay, um, I don't, I don't, I don't want this house anymore. The, the next one you will get has to be finer than this one. Yeah. Because you faked it. All right. Wow. So just make sure you have a backup if you, if you must. I mean, it's everywhere. Hype is good. Trust me, because at the end of the day, it will be magic. I'm the, I'm, as I am, I'm doing this because you can do You see me on top of a card. Mm. You know, mm. who, uh, who will pay me those millions while they take part from? Who will even pay me? When so, what, that I don't have a good car. So, so what I'm sure. basically trying to say is hype is good, but keep it at the conduit of what you are making. Cut, cut, cut. Let me give you some. Yeah, yeah, keep it that way. Cut your yeah. according to your size. People have, have so much. You know, let, let me give you an example. I'm the type that I go, to the, I go to the club. I don't drink champagne. I'm sorry. Not people say. And you know me. Now. I guess what I go to VIP. In fact, let me know. Some club owners they don't even. Some club owners don't even. They know they feel my vibe. You know why? When I enter, all I'll just tell give me my Hennessy Coke and ice. And they feel, oh no, this VIP na 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 XO. See, I have a bottle of XO here that they only made about fifty of them. I'm, one of them is in my house. But the truth is that I don't drink XO. It's not good for me in the studio. But. The VSOP is okay, mild, or maybe VS. Sometimes they will say, No problem, give me the VS. I'll pay the extra amount of it. I don't care, but I'm not going to drink this. Maybe the people I'm with might want to drink the champagne, no, but not me. I can't. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't, I won't go to the club and start raising, you know, look at what Cardi B did. She came and gave her just a bit, give me a bottle of beer, uh, Guinness, and that was it. She, at, at the end of the day, she had, I mean, I, I yeah, pay with her the lot. I mean, at the end of the day, they just go there and have fun. It's not yeah. about how much you spend or, you know, or they stop music. They're trying to bring the dream for you. Everybody will scream, hey, they stop music. Me, I did. I, 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 that impresses me off sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> Club owners, one of the guys, but they tell them that. One of the users. So let's talk about local content. After a successful mm -hmm. uh, music career, why do you think we are still behind with producing cinematic uh, music videos locally in Nigeria. I know you, you guys shot even, even you, movies. You guys shot a lot of your your videos in South Africa, right? We started it. You started it. Yeah, you started shooting your videos in South Africa. Why do you think we're, we're still, you know, to shoot those kind of videos that you would like and say, "Wow, this is a video." You know, um, a few years back when we still had uh, Channel O. I don't know if you remember Channel O. Channel O was one of the where people showed it there before MTV and Co came. And if you watch them, Channel O where anytime they are playing South African videos, we have the song, but we don't have the videos. Right? They have they don't even have the song hundred percent, but they have that video. Their video is like top notch. So one day I looked at it, I was like, okay, guys, let's look at these guys. The videos are top notch. I mean, during that period, they anytime they do a word of blah, blah blah, they are the old, they are the ones that will always win the best video categories, right? And these people, they have the equipment, but they are not even using it that much. I'm telling you, even till today, if you watch a South African movie, a Nigerian movie, you can tell. Like I was watching Queen of Sono recently on Netflix. I don't know if you see guys look at it. Yes. Watch it. It's international standard. I don't even really believe it's after. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So these people they have the equipment. We don't. Even right now that we have it, but there's something wrong about Nigeria weather at all. Yeah. Even my phone will be you, you know. If you take a picture with your phone abroad, you oh. take a picture here in Nigeria, there's the qualities yes. are different. Yes. Really, really, I really don't good. know where this thing is coming from. I'm being honest. So we 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 so far so good. That's why most of us, me, I still shoot in Nigeria, but I still shoot outside. I mix both of them. Once the song that need that Niger flavor dance, I 
will take you. I'll bring you here. Once it's something I need, I'll, I'll take it out. And again, the problem we actually have sometimes shooting in Nigeria is power, um, the environment. Uh, you go sometimes you want to shoot on the street, but the people will not allow you. They will block the road. Or the most settle so the last time we KC come and a half a million naira give us you know Mr. P you ah, are go give us two million for where? You know what I'm saying? So those are things. So for me I would say we local content in terms of satisfying Nigeria, Africa, we have done that. But have we satisfied uh the rest of the world? Not hundred percent. Not really, really hundred percent. But thank God today, you, you mustn't do overkilling video now for your music to sell. That's yeah. a good thing now. Yeah. Like if you watch uh, Memories by Maroon 5, one steady camera. He was just doing his thing. So, for sure, the guy knows what he's doing. He didn't, if, for me, if I would do that kind of video, I don't think I'll spend up to $1,000. That's 350K. Yeah. You know? All right. So, my next question. Uh, so, balancing your career as an artist, businessman, and a family life, educate a young, any young single artist listening with how to manage life pressures and upholding domestic obligations. You know, once you are born in this world and you come out, it's, you're already facing challenges. It's like a war, right? Yeah. Once you come out of the, once you're out of this world, you think you start knowing that man, you exist. Because I'm sure when you're one, two, three, you don't know you really exist. But once you're 10, 11, 12, it's so knowing the fact that you start exist. It's more like war. You start facing challenges. Yeah. The first thing you need to ask yourself is, what am I here for? Should I come to this world and pay bills and just die? You want to start thinking. You want to, like, oh, when you start having, when you, when you start, when you start having, for example, when you start having families, yeah. you stop. You know that those Gucci, yeah. Hey, babe, you know what? Can you just take, take, take them? You can just stay there for now. I'm coming. Sorry, then. So I have to go with my kids and sleep. But let me finish. So what I'm trying to say, you, you start. You start, when you start having kids, you start, those Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, shoes, blah, blah, you cut them short. Yeah. Because there's what? There's more responsibilities. Yeah. You know, you start paying school fees, tens of thousands of dollars. You start buying clothes. And remember, buying clothes for kids, will be, you know what I mean? Oh. If you buy now, in three months time, you know, we size them again. Yeah, you have to buy another one. Okay. I know. You know, so, yeah. and, you know, so so much of that, if you're the type that, you know, giving some, you have to cut some things down because it's no more about you. Right? It's no yeah. more about you. You know, I, 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 I remember, like, those years back when I said, ah, let me establish something. I was like, this something with a certain amount. How much will I be making every month? They say, okay, for a start, they make 300k, 400k, ah, I love you. I'm control my music. But I'm telling you the truth. I don't, I no longer think that way. The way I think, oh, 250, 300k. A 300k can turn out a few years start to be 300,000. All right. Mm. Or 300 million. I'm just giving you an example. You know, so, mm. so try to manage uh, as a businessman, entertainer, the musician, first thing you should ask yourself, which is more important? It's the bills, your family. They come first, whatever you do. Like I said, I love, I'm not a, I'm not too crazy about designers and all that. Blah, blah. I have my clothing line coming out, but I'm not crazy about, uh, I, I have to wear this particular, for you to recognize me, I have to wear this, you know, wear this, you know, but I'm telling you, but I can't wear anything. Maybe probably my wrist one, then you should see it in the happen. Mm. Maybe one of them, you know. But at the end of the day, you gotta see those things on my wife, not me. 
And she wear a no we ebo so they joke when it comes to that. If you want to know how rich I did, you see her for my wife. That is for me. Yeah. You understand? We ebo sir. Well, that is our entitlement. So we know they send. You understand? So that's exactly yeah. how me I see it. So for me, to manage that first thing is your family because the last thing you want to do, do let me if you go if you're going through bad uh uh bad uh you go through sudden uh, bad uh, moment with your music you can manage it you're going bad moment with your business you can manage the only worst one is your family so you can't afford tough. some things tough. my brother he, 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 he forget it you are done very but tough me are the, are the double my house there's this word they say never be ashamed of your hustle because when you go broke, nobody will feed you. Hundred mm. percent, I believe in that word till today. That's why I don't joke. Wow. Because you look at me, my brother. I don't many domestic stuff where I get. Come on, you don't look at me now. I'm like how many nannies, how many security, how many cook, how many cleaner. You know, look at that. I and mean, my house is big. Where where maintain them from? It's put in salary. So how am I supposed to look after them? Until you have to how many shows do, do we do in a month? Look, even if you do every weekend, you think it's easy. It's still not easy. You know, I'm, I know how much I pay for my light here every every week. I buy a card like this, boom, it's just one ounce. You know, I'm telling you. So, well, so one has to find a way, like I said, find a way to balance it. It's not about your music. It's not about your business. It's about your family. Yeah. That one All right. is very, very worrisome. 100%. So I know you you have to go go back uh, to go and make sure you do your family duties. But um, yeah. I, have, I, have, I have two more. Okay. Um, I have three go questions ahead. and then we play a game. Uh, okay. So, the Nigerian respect, has there been an instance where, as a large international art, you and your team were denied visas? And how did you address it? Well, we were denied visa our first MTV Europe Music Awards oh. in Abuja myself Paul Jude uh Ayo Anima Shawa and his brother the photographer what's his name again Shola uh Shola uh but God has a reason and it's a more like a testimony we got to Abuja on on Monday the award was on the call came in. So we um we uh we traveled to Abuja to get a couple Copenhagen, right? Copenhagen that Denmark. Yeah, right? to get the, to get the visa, the, 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 the embassy was in Abuja. That same award, the, the award we went to was the one freshly ground one. Yeah. Yeah. So if I remember, so we got to Abuja, I won't lie to you. He denied us that very on Tuesday. We were denied. We got to Abuja on Monday. No, they denied us on Monday, but we took the first line. They denied us. Our mind was to go, submit passport, then they'll tell us to come back as usual. A few days time, then maybe one person will remain in Abuja. But all of us Pick had it. our return tickets. All of us had our return tickets. We actually went with one person who was not traveling with us to say this person will collect it and bring it, but we need to come back to Lagos. Ubi, it was a socialistic flight that crashed. I remember the same ticket we had with the same plane registration number. But when we got there, they didn't give us. When I, they told us to reapply that day. We stayed over. We were in Abuja and the plane crashed. Wow. So if I sort of me to say, oh my God, uh, I felt really bad. Mm -mm. They say God works in wondrous ways and this was, that was one of them. Yeah. Wow. So we've been denied visa many times. Don't get me wrong. With your what? big name, go to America Embassy. They say they must give you visa. Nobody will give you. It, I've been to the, the last time I went to American visa. <laughs> I was shocked. Normally, of course, we had normal this VIP treatment. This time, 
He said, no, we have my brother Q. What's part of the people they look you? Like, ah, not be, not be Mr. P with this. My yeah. brother, you know, even get, you know, if he, only, only me, they, you know, if he, say, they pretend maybe don't on your phone, you don't get a phone. You are just like that. You have no job. Oh. I'm telling you. <laughs> and you know how yeah. that Q, that Q and how annoying they, with a Q like this, they Q like they Q like, like, nobody, they don't go the same. You know, I was there for an hour plus. But, you know? Uh, so, like I said, we're, we're human sometimes, yeah. Yeah. So, let's, uh, so you've been to so many tours. I'm sure mm. you have met Nigerians abroad and they warm up to you. Has there been a time where a family invited you into their home and gave you a treat? When you, like, how, do, all, how often does that happen? Like, time. you travel abroad for a show all and then... All the time. All the time. I think, first of all, when I travel abroad, I, I need to feel secure. Could be in Kenya, could be sometimes um, the Nigerian ambassador, so you know, yeah, yeah. invites you, blah blah. Because also, you need to feel secure. In fact, even we be doing that, even the other peaceful Nigerian ambassador to Kenya, and they will invite us first of all just to give us that security we're safe in that country. Let me be honest with you, it will be sometimes we've been in a country and war started. I'm not gonna lie to you. During the taking up, we wanted to go for uh, it Bagu. Of uh, Africa coast, yeah, uh, Babu, yeah, uh, yeah, I think so, Babu. We're in that country when it started. I'm not gonna lie to you, but guess what? The Nigerian ambassador was the one that you know we went to that place and luckily enough got a private jet to find ourselves back in Nigeria. You understand? But I'm just telling you. Sometimes I feel safe. It could be in the United States. I mean, I post most videos of that all the time. When I go to a particular country, a particular family invite me, I go there. First of all, I just need to feel secure. You know, say, because these are Nigerians. These are, you know, sometimes the ambassador will invite us to the office from there, will have dinner at the house. I mean, just feel, feel, feel more like home. And the good thing is the way they build, the ambassadors build their house, they build it in Nigeria way. I don't know if you understand. Mm, yeah. Give it that Nigeria, you know, feel, yeah. touch. Yeah, so you feel you feel more at home. All right, last question, then we'll play a game. Okay, take I us, got you. Huh? Take us back into the, uh, the 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 struggle days, because an eighteen year old is watching you and may not know that what it took becoming it may not know what it took becoming Mister P. You have taught all thirty six states in Nigeria. What city? Have you never been to? Like, have you taught all 36 states in Nigeria? And what city have you never been to? Only place I haven't been to is Zamfara. Mm -hmm. I think I've actually been everywhere. Because first of all, when our career started, we started performing in the north. We grew up in the north. Yeah. Isokoto, Yobe, Katsina, Maiduguri. You understand? Yeah. Those far, far, you know, that's where we all started. You know? And... Uh, if an 18 year old is watching, thinking it, it came easy, you're a bloody liar. Even if you're 25, you're a bloody liar. This house I'm living took us seven and a half, took me seven and a half years to build. Seven and a half years. Normally, it wouldn't have taken eight months or a year. But it took me seven and a half years because I was patient enough. You know, people think, it's a, it, it, someone would think, ah, they, they, they came to, they didn't get too much money for bank before I build this house. No. Is planning. It's planning. You just sit down and say, listen, bought yourself a land, start putting money, let's buy out today, I put one million chill. You buy 20 bags of cement to chill. You continue doing that, but today is my house. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Mm. So it's not like I must get all the money now. I don't know if you understand. It's yeah. not like you must have all the money now. It's step by step. Oh, money don't feel you chill. When you make a game, you bring all the workers and, and you continue. And that's how it works. So it, 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 someone who's watching that feel like, happy, these guys, let me tell you, it was never easy. Just, people, I, I've always heard this movie. I hear, but when I grow up, I want to be like you. Can you handle what I've handled? Can you handle it? The criticism, the, the hate, the, 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 even the love. Let me yeah. include the love. Because sometimes yeah. you don't know love you, you can begin to misbehave. Let's be honest. Yeah. You know? So, can you handle those up and pressures? Can you handle them? Don't forget about what you see. 
You understand? Forget about what you see. Like I used to remember when um, they say, "Ah, Peter, man, Peter, I, I hope you guys are enjoying." Blah blah blah. They are like, hmm. "Can I tell you something, Obi? Do you know that somehow five percent to four percent of not just me, most of our entertainers, would they for air they fly? Do you know that?" Obi? Mm -hmm. But the things that we enjoy what about our lives, what will they happen? We get children, no? we get family. So I see, I've seen, I don't want to, you know, I've seen relations calling me, oh, uh, every day that they fly, blah, blah, blah. Why they send us money? I said, do you think I fly because once I fly, money, they, money, money, they fall from heaven? I mean, that they decide they, they, they pay and I go meet God, collect the money, put inside pay, and then come down. He never called me and wished me Johnny Mason. Mm. I don't know if you understand. Mm. You're calling mm. me to tell me you see me on private jet. Oh, yes, I fly private jet. Fine, I understand. But hello? Mm. I want to see you where they ground better pass than me where they are. I risked my life. If you happen any time. Mm. You understand? So mm. people shouldn't be thinking. Every time people think about suicide, they think even they are legal down with all that is so. You think he sleeps? In the mm -hmm. double in hustle. You understand? So yeah. for me, I just feel if if you're out there looking at successful people, the first thing you need to ask yourself is not don't forget about the life they are living. Ask yourself what they must have gone or been through before getting to this level. There's there's a lot of sacrifice. There's been a lot of pressure from family. You know, the first book of first begin to ask for too much in your family. They don't want yeah. much they go through. At all. You understand? I then go feel yeah. in front of them. I then go demand. In fact, they, 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 they get, they then they feel saying that as long as you be their family, now you must buy that car what they look for. That house you the one build, now you must build that for. You know, you know what I say at the start? But you, know, you have your own priorities. Cousin, 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 where senior cousin, where, now so you know already, you know, what I would like you to know is start from there. So for me, if you're out there thinking it comes easy, no, no. Take your time. I mean, if it comes easy for you, I hear you. Even now, even now David Wave say, they feel say Papa Gamer. They guy, they hustle. Yeah, they hustle. Talk. Yeah. yeah. They hustle. You know what I'm Why not sit down and say, make a chop my Papa money? What is he yeah. doing? They follow us, they do the hustle. I swear. So it comes up to him as well. And thank you so much. Thank you. So let yeah, let's play a game because we need we need so um yeah. this game is I always create it to uh, make sure that you know we we always have serious conversations but after that serious conversation people need to get to know know you you know there are things that you do every day that people will not know so so that's why I created the, uh, uh, created the game so yeah mm -hmm. this is Peter's game Ukwa or Abacha hey Ukwa. I can walk. Hey, one time. Hey, Oka. Hey. So, Eba or Fufu? Ah, Eba. In fact, Obi, let me tell you about my Eba. Eh? I can wake up in the morning and ask him to bring Eba for me. I don't diet. Forget about this six pack. What are these? I know they diet. You don't think you don't go chop like me. Like like they dance for stage. Like they born and for stage. So, no try. <laughs> you go far too. Okay, or oh, Hasu or oh, Open Nubu. Oh, for Nubu. Or how so? They are making it now. I can take my phone to the kitchen now. That's what they are making. Or how so? Okay. Moi, moi, or Oppa? Ah. The problem is, Moi, I am at the normal airport. Oppa, I know they see them anywhere. Until I go east. When I go airport, I look around. See when they pass, they say, so Oppa. Because I know they see them that much. Pami or Bia? Ah, I'll take Pami. I don't know. I like. Tea or coffee? Tea, Ubi. tea or coffee, they're different. The tea, where you talk of, when would they just what they call shy? How some people call it shy? I don't know how some people do like this. Yeah. They give you bread. Yeah. Uh -huh. See that how they do that is? And the yeah. tea, where me, I know. Yeah. The coffee, I don't know the coffee, where you both drink, where they put <laughs> I know they send that one. The tea, where you they talk of, now they lift on all back. Yeah. That one. So you know, name up. So now shy. Shy, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, cold shower or hot shower? Ah, 
Hot shower. What time can you cold? Tell him. Juice or water? Water. It used to be juice before, but now it's water. SUV or sedan? SUV. Text message or phone call? I would say phone call because text message. That's why I hardly reply emails. I know the email person. So if you send me an email, call me, tell me, say, send me an email. So I'll say, oh, thank you. Nepal light or generator? Okay, let me do my calculation. Oh. Nepal light or my. Ah. I better go. Ah. I better go. My brother, someone Nepal. The director, the service, when you add the service. And yeah, the yeah. Uh, so, draw soup or, uh, draw soup or vegetable soup? Draw soup. Cognac or whiskey? Yeah. Window or aisle seat? Aisle seat, please. Swimming or basketball? I'm about to swim. swim. I have both of them, but swimming is the one I do virtually every day. So I use that, don't get me wrong, I use that now because I don't do house, I know the two that perform since at least I don't do house, so they use swimming, they, they burn up. Uh, okay, Kazal or Rebound glasses? No, Kazal is my type, you know, Kazal, they have that big this yeah. screen. I will, everyone knows I wear big screen uh, uh, glasses for Kazal. Comb or hairbrush? Hairbrush, which I can comb do. Or Kada or Keke? I never entered Keke before. But I don't enter Okada. Okada. Yeah. Okay, so lastly, date night with Madame or bedtime stories with the kids? No, yeah, Madame will go always there with the kids because, because my Madame will choose with the kids to say, no more stuff with the server. No matter how we love each other, uh, my Madame will not choose the kids over me. <laughs> Mama, she won't choose me over the kids, sorry. Yeah, you know, oh, sir, yeah. Uh, the same vice versa, too, so... So you, you, you we'll, go with we'll, the kids? Yes, we will find our way later. <laughs> <laughs> we don't live our life. Our life now is with the kids. All right, so, thank you so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate bringing someone as, as, as nice big as you are to this platform. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate thank you. you. I see what you've done, and I've been thank watching you. it, and uh, I'm happy I'm part of this. Bro, you should bring this on TV, bro. I love it. I'll you should try. Bring this on TV. If this was the like, it, it, remember, I was saying something. I don't know if, if I, I said that to you. I was saying that to someone yesterday. I said this lockdown. Hmm, okay. One thing everyone should learn from it is there's something you've always wanted to do. Now you have the time. Yeah. Now you have the time. Because mm -hmm. some of you us now are working. So that when after the pandemic, you now. That thing they've worked on the ground, they push it out. That's what you're doing. Yeah. This platform, look at so what it's creating for you. Now, next thing tomorrow, not seeing Ubi talk, Ubi Franklin talks on TV. Do not say, ah, Ubi, this thing, uh, no minor. Uh, mm -hmm. It was this period that made you create yeah. it, right? So, yeah. the same way. So, I um, mean, so, so I'm me, you know, myself. Okay. You know, I've always created something during the pandemic. It was during the pandemic, you, sorry, during the, um, in lockdown like this, I've always created something. You remember there was Occupy Nigeria? Mm -hmm. I wasn't was here during, then, I was in the States. Yeah. So it was during like, Occupy uh, Nigeria. It was during Occupy Nigeria. Yaya moved to come and stay in my house. And we bonded together and started working. So every time there's something like this, I'm, there's something good that always happens to me. So I pray, yeah, I pray this comes I'm, out right. I'm not going to lie. The same thing has happened to me. I, I, every day I do research. I'm going doing a lot. I, I won't lie to you. People say, ah, oh, man, I'm bored, but I don't think I am, because I think I need this time. I'm doing a lot of research. I've done a lot of stuff that I can't even wait for the pandemic to end for me to bring it out. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So this is the time to do that. So yeah. don't sit down because, well, that means people are working. People say they are bored. Yeah. Better start something. Prepare yourself in something yeah. so that immediately after the pandemic, you go all out. Thank and people that start saying, yeah, when, when you learn this, thing, when you learn this, thing, I learned in this period. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ubi. God bless you. Appreciate it. And, uh, Thank you. Man, bless her. Uh. All right, Thank bro. You. Thank you, uh, listeners and viewers. I love you guys much. Mr. P, I'm out. All right. All right. That was a very interesting interview. Thank you so much, Mr. P. I really, really appreciate you for coming on the show. So, by 
immediately after the president's speech by seven o'clock, we'll be back for our pitch with Franklin. So stay tuned. Thank you guys.